there's a guy over there with a Predator 3500 generator. And I could hear the generator from here. Very, I mean, you know, it was very slight, but I could hear it. So I cranked mine up to see, to compare the sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can hear mine. But now that I think about it, I know, I know I'm not gonna be able to hear it while his is running. So anyway, but I'm gonna walk over here. I'm also gonna talk to him about uh, how he feels about the generator, you know, and how he feels about lugging it, you know, in and out of the RV when uh, when it's not in use. And then I'm gonna talk to him about uh, a conversion kit so he can install, install it in the RV. See what he thinks about that. So let's see how this goes. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Um you have some converter? I, a conversion kit to, to convert that generator into a generator that you can install into the RV. In the original location where the generator goes. You so so that you have a, so you, you can use your on and off you switch. You you can do that? You think you got, well, what's the conversion kit? I mean, I got to be honest. I was going to look at the, pa the pamphlet or the instructions. I was just going to pipe it out. Okay. What That's you, it. How do you mean, how, what do you mean pipe it out? Words, well, you probably got plenty of space to do. do that. See, on my my RV over here, that little Rialta there, yeah. uh, there's so little space that that generator would not fit in that oh, compartment. Okay, okay. And, and so a lot of the smaller RVs, yes. generator won't fit. I mean, right, they, I don't, they don't make a small enough generator. So, yeah, and they don't make inverter generators. You know, that's an inverter generator. Right. Yeah. The one that's smaller than that, is it? Not, not that. It well, was. it is a smaller. The, they they do make a smaller one. Right. That's an inversion or inverter generator, but it doesn't have electric start, so it becomes. Oh no! Nope, shit. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, that little one doesn't have electric start, so um, you can't um, you can't control it from in here. So even if you piped it, you say you pipe your exhaust, and then you're also going to wire up your. Um, I'm still young like you, so I mean, you know, you can see what I do now. I'm ver I'll be very content just being able to leave it in there and going out and pushing the switch. But well, what do you do right now? You see it. Yeah, it's on the ground. Right. But when you're not sitting still, what do you do? It goes doing? in. It goes in the compartment where where the, the generator goes. Where do you where the generator? Can where, you show me that? Yeah, where the where the I would I would surmise that it was an uh, an Onan back then. But who knows? Okay. So I got to surprise that this had, well I know it had one, because all the wiring was still there. But this is my key to travel, let me get my keys. Okay, so it's kind it goes of, right there? Yeah, kind of hit and miss, so that's something that I'll address when I get back. Okay, so he actually has a compartment large enough to set the generator inside of, yeah. So, and he has a big motor home, I mean this is not a little motor home. How big is your motor home? 27. 27 foot, okay. And it fits right there? It fits in that spot? right here. Wow. Okay. Yep. Okay. Whatever it is, I could put the tape on there for you so you can see what, because it just fits. Oh, and then you have an outlet, I mean a plug right I here. I know you I got a plug, but I'm set up. See, I don't know. I haven't tried it because it doesn't really matter to me. I'm thinking this only runs the outlets. Okay. And this doesn't run the whole rig. Okay. Okay. So, and it, when this did have the generator, see, there's all the wiring. Okay. 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 All so right. that's that's my thought process. Now I haven't tracked all that yet, but this is what I've seen in other rigs. To me, it's kind of outdated. I mean, either you're going to run the generator, or you're not. Because I'm always generally, I'm, this is running, or my inverter's running. I don't use my coach battery very much. So the inverter is running off of what? Which battery? The battery inside. Okay. Can you show me? Yeah. All right. guy or a steel guy uh -huh. I'm gonna build a nice platform with the battery in there in inside I really don't like having a battery but there's the okay. battery right there and there's oh. the big inverter the okay. inverter is big enough when I sized everything for this thing to run the AC that inverter will run the AC off, up. off of it's, this one battery ain't gonna run it for long yeah yeah, yeah. but yes 
Okay. And if I got crazy, I could run them in series, the batteries. And, and stuff. what is this? A battery yeah, charger? charger? And it charges and which? I'm charging it right now. You're charging what? That battery. Oh, this battery. That battery you're charging I'm charging right now. From the generator. Right. Ah. In about another hour or so, I'll turn that generator off. Okay. And I'll be able to run probably till eight, nine, till I go to bed off the inverter. Right. So, so do you use a computer? Uh, I was just oh, yeah. wondering, you know, oh, how yeah. much power you use during the day. Uh, Not I mean, a lot? No. I mean, that, that, like I said, that inverter will take, you know, you know how the inverters are. So that you know that that I can run like I said my air conditioner, but you're gonna you, you're gonna wear it down. But the answer to your question is absolutely I can run both these TVs, the the, the stereo. Okay. I can run this whole coach with that inverter. Okay. But I choose to with one battery. With one battery. If okay. I had two, it would just last longer. Now ah. here's the beauty of what I have right now. Everything is running phenomenal. So I'm gonna run this system just as it is <laughs> i'm not changing a fucking thing with that right, right. other than putting the generator in there and getting the inverter and the battery in the front and i'll okay. have to make brackets and stuff to do that okay. but that's my plan i really you know once i start if i meet some chick or something and i start cruising with somebody then you know i don't want that in the front Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And I really don't want in the front now, but I knew that there were going to be things that I was going to do trial and error this first time. You know, this is your down. first time out? It's my first time traveling from New York and staying. I'll, I'll be here. Uh, I'm going to go back like the end of April. I'll have been here six months. Wow. Cool. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? Oh, dude, it's excellent. Anybody that, you know, you got to be, you, gotta, you, you would have to have some training like you did. I was in the trade for 25 years. To do this, right? But anybody that's got trained, it's doing what we're doing. We right. fucking love this. You've got to be crazy not to do this. Dude. Yep. And yep. We're doing what you did. Look at the spell. I guess you pick up some space. Not that much, but it's well, well, see, I didn't. I, we didn't have much space with the Rialta. No, I, I know it, but for like mine. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would have more space. And so, so you're content. Your your only step now is you want. That's the same. Yeah, it's the same channel. Is you want to be able to elect, uh, run a gear? So what do you it, want? It already does. Oh, you're all set. Oh, you're yeah. Done. I'm done, yeah. I mean, I'm going to, this is the first one I've done. So I have some upgrades I'm going to do, like this panel inside. I'm putting that display panel inside. Yes, yes. And I'm going to put the start and stop switch right here instead right, of right. where it is now. Right, right. And there's a start and stop switch inside as well. Oh, so yeah. when I get ready to use my generator, I just hit the button inside. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What a fucking great generator, huh? Yeah. Quiet. Yep. Excellent. Like I said, it t you got to be talented to do that and do it right. And I don't know how many people are like that. Right, you right. You got to have a decent background. Well, that's so. why I was saying that uh, I, I, I'm thinking about doing a kit, you know, that will allow the, oh, yeah. the, the tinker who wants to do it. it. Yeah. And, and, and do a... Uh, a, a, video a full one? version. Yep. Do the video so that they can do it themselves. Right. But also... I, uh, I want to do a full version for the person who doesn't want to um, have to deal with even assembling a kit. Because you got to disassemble that generator, the original one, and then reassemble this generator. And although I was going to provide all the parts, you know, some of those parts I need to swap out. So, like, I need your muffler back, you know, I, because I got to modify that muffler. You've seen the modifications that, that have been done to it. I got to modify. There's some other parts in there, have, and there's some custom parts that have to be made. They're four thousand dollars for the old end. Yeah. 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 How big would? So you don't even know which one you had in there no. originally. Okay. But I can tell by other guys, it's easy. You can fit a four thousand in there. Yeah. Oh no yeah. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. Probably bigger. Yeah. But my point to this is, guys like us that aren't going to buy new, they got an own end. It's acting up. Whatever. It's too loud. You could do this for probably almost half the price. Right, right. And right. it's a better generator. Better generator. It's a yeah. it's quieter. Right, it's yep. everything. More fuel efficient. Absolutely. It's producing clean power. You know the inverter. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I I think it's great, man. I wish you the best of luck. I that's freaking. You you're you're on to something. And, uh, so I've shown you my generator. I've talked to you about, you know, the hassles of moving one like this in and out when you need it. What do you think? Uh, I mean, from I a comparison standpoint, what would you rather do? It's fantastic. Um, it, it is a bother to bring it in and out. Fortunately, I'm younger, so that I can still do it. But 
I, I love the idea of being able to convert it and put it into where an Onan generator or Generac used to sit into. Yeah. I think it's more it's it's more practical. It saves gas. Um, it does so many things that make your RV life better. Yeah. I would yeah. rather just press the button on the inside, <laughs> like a lot of people do and have. The advantage to the Predator is it's very good on gas. Yeah. So yep. Um, to be able to do that and press the button and be able to run a hair dryer, uh, run the microwave, run your air conditioning, there's nothing better than that. That's that's RV life yep. at its best. Well, there you have it, folks. From uh, from a, a person who has to do it on a regular basis to actually take their generator out of their compartment. You see he's got the lock on it, so he is concerned. In fact, he says he doesn't sleep very well at all when the generator's outside from a safety standpoint absolutely yeah but uh, at least he has a compartment big enough to put the generator in you know he doesn't have to put it inside you know behind the seat like some people you know, and, are and, and that's a that's a great thing about what you're doing roland is that um, even with a newer version of the onans and the generax um, from being out there at campsites or wherever I may be, they're, they, they can be loud. Yep. Now, that's part of our RV and world, and I accept that, and I understand that, but these Predator generators are so quiet. So if you have the ability to take that generator and put it into a spot, especially on these bigger RVs, yep. because it's a little bit easier to convert, yep. it's a no-brainer, yep. especially if you already own the Predator. Yep. It, it's uh, something that I'm going to do probably as soon as I get back up north to Rochester and do the conversion. Yep. Um, for you people that have one like yours, yep. it's still a no-brainer. It just takes a little bit more to get it down to a practical size right, and, right. And, and build the manifolds and things like that. Right. But, um, the idea is the conceptual idea and what you're doing, can't beat it. Yep. Can't beat yep. it. I appreciate it. Well, there you have it, folks. I just wanted to get a third-party review from somebody who does it on a regular basis. Um, it's, you know, if you haven't already um, purchased a portable generator that you have to move in and out of your RV, there are other options. You can, uh, you can get an inverter generator that will fit into your motorhome so you can press a button. You don't have to worry about putting gas in it separate from your motor home. You don't have to worry about sleeping. You don't have to worry about sleeping at night. Somebody might steal, might steal it. it. Yeah. And you don't have to go through the hassle of moving it in and out all the time, you know? So, Mike, appreciate it. Pleasure Absolutely. meeting you, man. Absolutely. And uh, we'll stay in touch. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you. And uh, I don't want to lose 650 bucks. Right, right. So Mike's been to go with his buddy over here in his RV, and so he has to lock up his uh, generator. And he's a big guy. I mean, it weighs 100 pounds, you know. It wasn't that big a deal for him to pick it up and put it inside. He has a compartment big enough. Imagine lugging that inside of the uh, Rialta, or even the uh, the little portable one. You know, the 2,000-watt one, it still weighs 50 pounds. You know, and, and, and the other thing, too, that I worry about is I'm not getting any older. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not, getting, not getting any younger. younger right. And you know, there's going to come some point where I, you know, I could physically hurt myself by doing that. And right. That, and, that, and now what am I going to do? So, I mean, there's a lot of really excellent things about the convert, converting these things. Yeah, the benefits of having it. Yeah. You can't, you know, $4,000 for for a new one. I've already bought this. It cost me four, 500 bucks to do a conversion. I... How can you go wrong with that? Exactly, That's what it's exactly. all about. So Thank you priced you like the that. Onan, you say it was four thousand now? Oh yeah, they're at minimum they're four thousand. Okay. For a four thousand okay. watt. For a four thousand watt one. Okay. You go okay. bigger, um, it costs more. In my, in my case, I don't need bigger. Thirty this this thing runs everything. It'll even run the uh, air conditioning when it's on, which we've determined was thirteen thousand five hundred BTUs. Right. And the microwave simultaneously. Right, exactly. And exactly. So it's perfect size for this unit. Right. So right. Okay. I cool. know uh, as soon as I get back up north, I'll be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> cool.